massive trees uprooted, crushing cars and blocking streets. Now, just seeing all this damage, you would think the storms just happened, but this is still what's left from Friday's storm that blew through Myers Park. A few people still don't even have power at this hour, and Anchor Blaine Tollinson got a look at the long cleanup process. The storm damage in Dilworth and here in Myers Park is unbelievable. You can see a tree down uh, behind me on Queens Road West. This is right where it turns into East Boulevard. And if you look down Kings Drive, you can see a tree. There's this one here. They are cleaning up. It fell on traffic lights, and this is unreal. If you look on East Boulevard this way, you can see uh, they just now got the tree off of this car. It's been on it since Friday. Mark and his kids spent part of Friday by the pool before their beautiful afternoon turned ugly quickly. Shingles started flying off the roof. We lost our umbrella. Do you remember that? Yeah. And the whole did. thing only lasted about probably about 30 minutes. They were one of many families in Myers Park and in Dilworth out walking just past chainsaws, getting a look at massive trees on the ground. A lot of big trees down, a lot of uh, you know blocked roads. There's two houses on Norton that got hit, but uh, I think it's all the rain. Rain and powerful gusts of wind on Idlewood Circle in Dilworth. It brought a huge tree down onto a detached garage, killing Joaquin Portillo Valle, who doesn't live here but just happened to be working on this building that day. Others were much luckier. A neighbor who saw a tree crush the back seat of this Honda on East Boulevard says two women made it out okay. Many who heard about it came to see the car for themselves. I hadn't seen it until today. It's been buried for three days. And if you're driving through any of these neighborhoods soon, you may get turned around, even on major roads like Providence near Windover. There are still a lot of hazards in these areas with cleanup possibly taking several days and traffic lights are out in some areas like this intersection, East Boulevard and Kings Drive. So police say treat these areas as if they were a stop sign. Back to you.